clinics across the country, doctors are prescribing antibiotics to families who have no food at home or who are living in a car. Physicians should be able to prescribe food the same way they prescribe antibiotics. And if the family needs food and medicine to be healthy, the doctor should be able to prescribe both of those resources. Our clinic is made up of 8,500 patients, infants through adolescents. Many of them live in the East Baltimore community and face a lot of poverty. In pediatrics, we think about all those areas in assessing a child's health, where they live, where they play, foods that they eat, or if the parents had just lost their job. Because these social determinants are so prevalent, if we try to address them at each and every visit with the resources we had, I think we'd be really overwhelmed. If what clinics need are time and energy to create these resource connections, and there's college students hungry to do something important around issues of health and poverty, could we tap this new workforce to expand the capacity of clinics? We had no idea if it would work. We had no idea whether the doctors would trust us enough to make the referral. We had no idea whether patients would come. But what we found is that they do. And is there anything else other than employment that you need to deal with right now? I'm trying to get affordable housing to get my son out where I'm at because of the mold. And he has asthma. And um, Your landlord's not addressing the mold problem? No. When you go to be seen at John Hawkins, they always have a paper for you to sign, like, do you need food, do you need housing, do you need shelter, do you need this and that? And I sign it. What I love about the doctors, they read over it. And they brought me to Health Leave. It's just a beautiful network. You're going to get that help. You get the help you need. You know, it's the special things that I need to eat and what I need to do for my hypertension and stuff. And they helped me to get some food stamps so I could be able to feed me and my child. We could be able to eat. This is actually good. So this is, well, I'm guessing... You know, people come with real issues. And there's a huge amount of resources, um, and sometimes very specialized resources, that just people just don't know about. They come for an immediate concern, whatever the checkup is, or if they have a acute problem. So having us in the same location kind of makes them aware that these environmental factors contribute to your health. And I have directions to the nearest career center. Okay. The volunteers will help the family do whatever they need to to access those resources. They will follow up with the client until she gets whatever resources are necessary for her to be healthy. Okay. We have over 60 undergraduate students from Johns Hopkins University. We supply them with a desk, a phone, a computer, and a printer. To have the students at the desk update the resource list that they're using, check in with them and make sure this is a, this is a really good place for this family to go. These are the nearest food pantries for this family and they can get there today by five o'clock. Healthcare in this country is such a complicated, impenetrable system. And when you're a college student, it's really hard to understand how can you add value in that system. <laughs> Our volunteers graduate with a very distinct point of view on the way healthcare should be delivered, and in particular for low income families. I've been working with this client for six months now. She's one of my first clients. We're the same age. I also come from a low income family, so I kind of know what it feels like. We've been looking for housing, and she called me on Saturday. It was like, Nasa, I got a house. And I was like, yay, so she has a house. When we launched at a new site, we had 176 students apply for 10 slots. They join Health Leads and stay with Health Leads because the work that they do is real. Yes, hi. I've been um, auto-signed to an MCO. <laughs> that I don't want. Originally, I thought of health and I thought of medicine, I thought of doctors, I thought of prescriptions, but now I realize it's so much more. See right here. Um, Even the small resource referrals, such as filling out a food stamps application, makes such a huge impact in these clients' lives. The work that I've done with the desk has really motivated me to get involved in the conversations that are going on in medicine right now, shifting the focus to consider the social determinants of health. 
Were there any, was there anything else? Health leads, it's changing the way we practice medicine in addressing those needs that we knew existed. And I think it allows the other providers in the clinic, not only the doctors and nurse practitioners, but the social workers and mental health providers to really focus on the things that they're most skilled to do. You take an institution that really has an enormous burden around the basics of healthcare delivery, and you're able to shift to a healthcare system where every time the patient comes in, whether they have food at home, whether they have safe housing, is part of the care delivery. We can change the whole healthcare system.